everybody. I'm Hibba. Can you hear me? Now you can hear me. OK. Hello, I'm Hibba. Um, so seven years ago, I'm Lebanese American. My family's from here. Uh, but I was born and raised in Portland, Oregon. Um, I used to live in New York City. And seven years ago, I came here for a visit uh, to see my family and friends. And on the way back, uh, we, our layover was in Paris, and I was heading to New York. My family was going back to Portland, Oregon. So uh, we were on an MEA flight, and um, my mom used to be a flight stewardess for MEA. And on the flight, uh, one of the flight stewardess, and mind you, this is maybe uh, 27 years ago, my mom was a flight stewardess. And one of the flight attendants recognized her. She goes, oh my gosh, uh, Najah, do you remember me? I'm so-and-so. My mom goes, oh my gosh, yes. So they start talking. I'm half awake, sitting next to her. And then about five minutes later, um, another woman, about maybe three or four rows down, goes, Najah, oh my gosh, it's me. And it's another flight stewardess that she used to work with at MEA who just happened to be on the same flight coming back from Lebanon to, I think, well, obviously a layover in Paris, and then she was heading back to the States as well. So they start talking, they catch up, they hadn't seen each other in more than 20 years, and she says, I now live in Houston, Texas. Um, you know, I have this many kids, I have a daughter that lives in New York, and, and then my mom starts saying, oh, my daughter Hiba, she lives in New York too, et cetera, et cetera, and she goes, well, here, here's her number, Here's her name, and whatever. I barely hear this. My mom hands me a piece of paper. I throw it in my bag, and I don't think about it. I get back to New York. Um, at this point, um, I'm working at a, uh, uh, as a journalist in New York, and I'm working overnights. So it was kind of hard to make friends when you work a midnight to 10 AM shift. You hang out for people, with people for breakfast uh, before midnight, like Cinderella, and leaving. So, it was, it was a bit difficult the first uh, year, two years. And uh, uh, one day, I was going through my backpack, cleaning it up, and I see this name and this number. And I realize, oh my gosh, this is from that flight months ago. Um, so I tell my mom, hey, should I, should I message her? I don't know. That's kind of weird. I don't, I don't want to call her out of the blue. And she's like, yeah, I do. And I was like, no, no, no. I'm going to Facebook her. So I look her up. I find this person under Texas. I'm a journalist. I... Uh, and I messenger. I go, hey, uh, I, this is weird, but I'm so-and-so, and our moms met a couple months ago um, when I was coming back from Lebanon. And they used to be flight stewardess together. And I was telling her all this stuff. And she goes, oh my god, yeah, my mom told me about you, but she didn't get your information from your mom, et cetera, et cetera. And so we start talking. We realize. Her work is about three blocks away from my work. So I think one day after my overnight shift, I go and I visit her for lunch. And uh, from then, we just started hanging out. And she eventually became my very best friend. And we've been through a lot together, uh, through stuff at work, relationships. Um, also, coming from Portland, Oregon, it's not a very big hot -up based community. So I didn't have a lot of friends who could speak Arabic. And for us, it's like a secret language when you're with a bunch of people that don't know how to speak it. So it was really fun to get that like friend where you can turn to and be like, this party sucks. Let's get out of here. Or somebody's crazy on the L train, and you can actually say something about it, and nobody will know. Well, we thought nobody would know. Uh, but she, I didn't know really like what loyalty really was until I met her. She's just an incredible human being and just, you know, you have those, like I'm sure everybody can think of just like one person in their life that's not related to them that just makes you feel so good and just from the depths of their soul they want the best for you. That's her. And what's crazy is if I hadn't taken that flight that day to go back to New York, I probably, probably would have never met her. And now, in a couple of weeks, I'm heading to Morocco to be a bridesmaid at her wedding. Thank you.